Good morning, Stephanie Cameraman, the Stock Whisperer, here with today's Daily Dark Pool Whisper for November 18th, 2019. We have a little technical glitch happening on the Dark Pool app this morning, but don't worry. I will post everything on the public feed, so you are not going to miss anything. Just check that public feed, and as soon as we get the problem fixed, We'll go private once again, but let's start with the SPY. Yeah, the SPY, we have those major dark pool levels that have been coming in. Uh, 309.20 was the last one, six and a half million. We are still above that. We're getting a little pullback this morning due to this news, mood in Beijing about the trade deal is pessimistic. Um, look, we'll probably come down to support Right here on this five minute chart, you see this 200 simple and exponential moving average. Yeah, those are really powerful. Let's see if we take a little bounce off that right now. Uh, if not, I like to look at the 15 minute chart. I have them down here, about 310 area. Looks like there'll be some support there. Uh, but today we're gonna be bullish above 312.50 and bearish below 310.75. Let's go to the E-minis. E-minis, we are going to be bullish above 31.28 and bearish below 3.11.750. Yeah, we just went below that. And it looks like we're going to hit our first target right now. Well, ah, 50 cents shy we came of it. Yeah, we'll see. Up, oh, looks like it might might head there right now. Yeah, if we break below uh, 3115, look for 311142. That's a retracement to the pivot uh, for a possible bounce there. Let's go to the Russell. The Russell, we are bullish above 159.50 and bearish below 158.37. Now remember, we have that uh, really big level on the Russell, 159.07. That is a key recent dark pool level. I drew some uh, channel trend lines and we came right up to the top. So really looking for a breakout here. Yep, or of course a breakdown to the bottom of this channel, but we do have the, the four and the eight just below us. So really that trade setup is right here. That's what I'm looking at. Yeah, right here is the no trade zone. Stay tuned for my blog this week. It's called the No Trading Zone, where I teach you about that. Let's go to the uh, QQQs. Bullish above 203.60 and bearish below 203. And we just uh, went below that as well. And I did send out these whispers uh, as soon as I finished them so you guys could take advantage if we did get some movement, which looks like it's happening right now. NASDAQ futures bullish above 83.50 and bearish below 83.25 and we've gone below that level as well. And let's go to the Dow futures bullish above 28.050 and bearish below 27.950, which we are testing uh, pretty much right now. Let's go to the oil futures because those are always exciting. Yeah, oil's been a great mover. We're going to be uh, bullish above 58 right here, and we're gonna be bearish below 57.40. Right below this pivot, we just went below that right now, so it looks like we're gonna be headed to S1 level. And then let's go to the uh, gold futures quickly. We're gonna be bullish above 14.68, that's above this pivot, and we're gonna be bearish below 14.57. 50. All right, now it's time to go to the individual stocks. I got a nice assortment for you, but let's start with gold. GDX, we had a 2690 print on Friday. We're going to be bullish above that, above 27 and bearish below 2637. All right, Uber. Uber had massive prints on all week actually last week. It's in my Dark Pool Insights video for the weekend. We're gonna be bullish above 27.37 and bearish below 
50. A lot of the prints happen at 2665. So yeah, if we do break below that, look out below. All right, AMD. Bullish above 39.25 and bearish below 37.50. Yeah, I did my bearish below level all the way down here. Yeah, I just really didn't like this area. There's too many pivots and, and levels, and I didn't want you guys to get sliced and diced on the downside. So really the upside trade is here and the downside, this is the no trading zone right in the middle. Let's go to Apple. Apple's been a beast. We're going to be bullish above 268 and bearish below 264.75. Bank of America, bullish above 33.20 and bearish below 32.75. We had some uh, big prints last week at 32.68 and 32. Um, 88 area. In fact, you know what? I have to change this level. I made a mistake. 3260. I want to be below the prints always. All right, there we go. Let's do uh, EEM. Bullish above 4337 and bearish below 4312. Yeah, we had some pretty big prints. Um, at 43.19, 6 million. So I'm going with a really big level as bearish below. But watch as 43.08, we could bounce and play print pong off that. Yeah, if we go below that, that's going to be uber bearish. Let's go to JD. This was a huge winner on Friday. Massive prints have been coming in. We're going to be bullish only above 34.25 and bearish below 30. 350. And let's go to uh, Mr. Softy. Bullish above 150.75 and bearish below 150. We are there right now. Yeah, and that'll be a retracement trade down to the pivot and the uh, and the four EMA right here. All right, one more Roku, and this is Otis. This is Otis's favorite. Congratulations, Otis. Trader of the week last week was nominated by everybody and just rocked it. Uh, everything, right, Otis? Was it your best week, Otis? Uh, you've had so many good weeks, but it just seemed like you were just, yeah, one of yours. Okay. <laughs> Otis, Otis is killing it. I want to be you when I grow up, Otis. All right, Roku. We're going to be bullish, Otis, above 160. Yeah, you know what? That's such a big level. That's why I picked it. I mean, there's probably a smaller trade before we hit that. That would be a target. But again, that's such a key level. Uh, we're really far away from the 4 EMA. So the retracement trade looks very interesting. Bearish below 157. And uh, there are quite a few people on the book. So I put them here for you to watch. But bearish below 157. And here are my targets all the way down. So there you have it. Those are your whispers for the day for November 18th, 2019. And again, I do apologize for the technical glitch, but those of you out there, you're going to get free whispers today if you want to sign up for the Dark Pool app in the future. It's only like, what, $19.95 a month? $19.99 a month. Yeah, you can't beat it. Happy trading, everybody. My secret